So here we are, uh, a few days into the new year, and this is the sum total of the sort of more keepable bits of one year's metal detecting. 2022, all my coins, buttons, lead, odd bits and pieces, and another curiosities. Um, also have the couple of a military, well, a military cap badge, a medal, and George Third half crown. And then these bits are all waiting to go to the flow, who I see on Saturday. So this will be the last time that I see those for a couple of months. We go through those towards the end. Uh, let's start pot by pot. This pot. is buckle fragments and buckles. Some of them are quite nice. Half a spectacle buckle, quite respectable. There's all sorts in here. Bits, some D buckles, oddities with large Bits sticking out of them, mostly horsey related, very early type uh, st stud. I think they call it a stud type pin, the mechanism that would have gone in the middle of a buckle, which was quite cool. Favourite little bit of buckle was either this bit which would have been a, a fancy Bobby Dazzler, or better still, not that one, you'll see it on top, I've pushed it to the bottom, this one, that one, I mean that would have been a real Bobby Dazzler of a buckle, carry that all the way around, I wonder it didn't survive, uh, that's good, so those are all the you know, buckly bits, better buckles out of the stuff going to the flow. The flow's asked to see old buckles, so that one will go. And earliest steel buckles, little diddy ones. I mean, these two actually have come, or well, both found in December, I think. Diddy little buckles. So they go to the flow. She likes to, she's asked to see those. That's buckles, lead. I'm not sure we're going to tip this one out. Uh, that's the year's musket balls. I have got too much bigger weights, but any weights. So there's some bag seals in there. It's quite a nice one. Probably the nicest of the year. which I've never actually had one that's had a date on. All the ones that I seem to find just have a company name on them for feed or things. It seems to be more the, certainly the ones that the find up in Scotland, but the Russian flax seals seem to nearly always have a date on. This was a lovely little Roman steel yard with still had its loop. I called it an onion type, I don't know if it's got a proper name shape, but uh, a turnip. But that was good. Uh, yeah, and just the usual array of musky balls, which is nice to find. Socking big three ringer bullet. Uh, so that's sort of lead. We have two for buttons. So I divided my buttons into buttons that could be reused or shanked buttons or the whole four holders. So these were all the sort of plain buttons. I set myself a challenge at the beginning of the year to uh, 
to find 150 usable buttons. I think I only got to about 130. Uh, and all that lot are all the broken buttons. But uh, we keep them all. And I've got a project in mind later in the year. And you'll, you'll see what happens to a lot of them. So they were the more plain buttons. In this one, we've got some of our better buttons. And first out, two crotal bells that we found. Obviously not ringers, and they should jingle them together. So they are again, funny. You know, I found one and then a couple of weeks later, we found the second one. Hang on, that nice say? So we do like finding a crotal bell ring would be better, but that's this year's. And then we found, oh, get the two together. These two, no, wrong. Oh. We found a small one of these as well, which was quite nice. London and South Western Railway Uniform button. A naval button with its anchor and crown. General service button all punched in. An earlier uh, Georgian military button. This one's relatively plain, but with a design, which is nice. We had a little gold, very gilt button with a crown on. I guess that's probably military again, but uh, I'm not sure about that one. What's this one? We had an artillery button with a cannon. This was probably one of the oldest buttons, I think. I found last year with simple little dot flower on it. I don't know how old that is, but that, that feels like it's got a little bit of age. I like that one, it's pretty. Livery button. Didn't find, in fact, hadn't found a livery button before this year. That one holding the arrow. Uh, family untraced did try couldn't get anywhere there was a bigger one don't know what that would be a bigger one. Oh, here it is this was one we found just before Christmas with soil searches so that one can't decide whether to try and clean that one a bit more whether the gold is all under that crust or whether I'll do more damage than good is only a button but a uh, nice livery button and the other livery button was some sort of a foot now the foot if you watch Griff's latest video or the one before he found a livery button and he attributed it to a family but this one has got the same foot with a spur uh, but then coupled with another, I'm not sure what that is, I'm not sure if it's a goat's head, a ram. I think it is a goat's head. So if anybody's got any info on, on that, uh, or if Griff would like to see that one, point him in direction to watch it. That's pretty much the buttons. General service buttons. So they're our better buttons, which we'll keep. To one side. This was a, an unusual artillery button in that it's a great huge bulbous balloon type button. I've still not found a proper Tudor button, that's definitely on my on my wish list. And then we have oh, a big pot of odd, odds and sods. These are just fragments of things that you know really were something once but you can't 
put your finger on. We did have a cat badge a few weeks back. Out with Elite, that was. That was nice. Might put that one in another little display case. Uh, it's just full of bits and pieces. Probably a bit of old <clears throat> bronze bell or a bit of plate. Could be bell. Backing of a Georgian type draw pull, which we found on the farm the other last week. Stair rod fixer case for a um, pocket watch. There's all sorts in here. I'm not sure if that's a just a little dangling bit that would have been brightly polished up on a horse, a bit of horse furniture that would have just dingled away in the sunlight. We had a small ox knob and a much larger ox knob. They're the only two of those I've ever found this year. Don't know. Lots of don't know's in here. We had, as, as the way things go, a Jaws harp, Jews harp, a uh, complete one but quite bent. And on the same day, we'd already found a smaller broken one as well. And here it goes one site produced the two of them. Bit of ornate plate. There's other bits and pieces in it, but nothing over exciting. Never did work out what this was with the rectangular hole. There's just sort of a piece of metal across in there. I don't know what that is. If anybody else has any ideas, let me know. Another draw pull with the leaf spoon handle. Usually you find lots of spoon handles on this for some reason. Get that one. So that's that. Let's move to a fresh bit. This one is full of thimbles and oddities. So there's that one's quite early on in the year, came from a little farm with the soil searches, little pendant, I think it's pressed out, but it feels like it's got a little bit of age, but it can't be that old. Uh, complete thimble, none of these thimbles that I found this year were particularly old, they were all Georgian Victorian thimbles, don't know how many I had in the end, let's have a look. Not as many as I thought. Four. Four thimbles. Bits of crotal bell. Had a few bits of crotal bell this year. One, two, three, four. Oh, thimble there. Very squashed one. Oh, that was the best bit of crotal bell. That would have been a Bobby Dazzler if it was complete. The little pony club badge that we found with um, Roseanne. She digs it. Happy swinging. Which might change the channel name actually. Perhaps it's just she digs it. Uh, yeah, a little pasture field that had the sheep in. Friendly sheep. So that was that was a bit of fun. Queen's Regiment. I think these went on the shoulder. A shaped dubri. Again, it could just be a draw pull. That could have been connected. That was just a draw pull. Or it could have been dingle dangle 
and a bit of horse furniture. Clog clasps, funny enough again, not found one, then found two, I think one dig apart, maybe. One with the midweek searches. They might have both been with the midweek searches actually. So that was a that was a good bucket lister. This no idea. It moves. I've got no idea what it is. No idea. Uh yep, yeah, that's that pot. We had coins. Lots of coins as you'd expect. This one is sort of the latter Edwards and Georges, including the the rolled up one that we found out with uh, Let's Get Hammered, which has been purposely smashed and folded. No doubt either a board farmer one day in the field or a board service serviceman that was uh, in the field. Get some nice patina on some of these. The edges tend to chip up on a lot of those later ones. This is all my Roman grots. Romans I can't get anything off. That's a year's grots. Some people on the right side would find that in one dig. Uh, that's taken me a year. The better ones I'll show you at the end. These are odd ones that have come up blank. Can't get anything off. These are all my Vickies. Uh, there's a couple of odd bits in here as well. There's a rose farthing and things. But mainly the bigger coins are all Victorias. Not all that many. These are all my Georges. George the second, George the third, and George the first. I think I've only got one George the first. I think that was one of those, they call it a dump farthing. Where are you? So we had our whacking great big cartwheel penny. First one of those we've found. Found that in the summer on a blisteringly hot day. George the Thirds, I think this is probably the best, the best of the George the Thirds. Yeah, usually they're, they're pretty ropey. So that was the nicest one. And there's a George, right there, that one in there. And that was our George dump farthing, which came out really really well, which we're happy with. And there you can see 1724, if you focus on it. Come on, 1724. So that was all my Georges, Georgie Porgy. We had a couple of tokens. Uh, one I found on my local permission. I don't know the details, don't but if you go back, summer one. That hasn't fared all that well. Can't remember what these are. Oh, two of these. This one. And the one below it. Oh, William and Mary. I found two William and Marys. That's just... No, I didn't. I actually found three William and Marys. This year I found three William and Mary coins, which is quite astonishing. Because they're not easy to find. Some of you will go a long, long time without finding one. Uh, you can just see the double, the double nose, if you like, and the double forehead just ghosting through, really. 
they've all got it. This one is a bit more obvious when you've wet it. Uh, but that's good. It's well happy with that. There we go. Some were safe. Where else we got? Da. These are little bits that were silver or thought to be silver. Some are definitely silver, like the, the cane top that we found. Definitely silver. Had its hallmarks, and we found the other bit as well that's in there. But not masses. Right, let's have a little look at what's going to off to the flow. So here we have a pile of Romans, a pile of Roman coins. These are all the ones with good details. These two are the two that came out of the pasture field before, oh, quite a bit before Christmas actually, wasn't it? We found when Roseanne was there. So they'll go off with the others. Please always ask to see all Roman coins. That was the one that we found with the, uh, uh, which club was that? Can't remember. Let's let's go digging. Let's get let's get hammered. Yeah, the two captives under the standard. Little tiny one. See the two winged figures there. I'm actually going to this farm tomorrow. My first dig of the year. So I'm going to be. Two fields away from where I found this coin. The field in the middle actually didn't produce all that much. Uh, so hopefully the one we're going to tomorrow will be a bit more productive than that. But the other field was good. It had lots of good things. In fact, I think three gold status came off of the other field. This also came off that field. I've got a feeling that this could be a Roman bucket mount. But... We'll see what the flow says. Before I get completely dismissed. This one we found early on. I think this is the commemorative type Constantine coin. We only had two hammers in the year, whole year, and two hammers. This Charles, little tiny one. That one we found on the same day. Was our ring, which cleaned up quite nicely. That's going off. So those two were found on the same day. Funny enough, that video has not has had hardly any watches. I think it's stuck on 69 watches. So not many people have seen me dig that and the hammered. Thumbnail's got Lego Man holding, holding the coin. So if you want to see that, go and have a look at that one. This is also thought to be bucket mount up by the handle where the handle is, joins the bucket itself. See what she says. We had two Roman brooches, Colchester type and Monte type with uh, red and blue enamel in it it's just got it's not any moisture in there uh, we had two dagger shapes to go so happy with that and then just this to show uh, she might not want it at all it might not it's probably not as old as a couple of other people thought it was, so let her decide on that. And that's pretty much a year's detecting. 
I'll empty all the pots out now, reset it all for 2023. Stick all this lot in some Chinese containers. Some of it, like I say, we're going to do a project with some of the buttons. Some of it uh, that's come locally will go back to the farmer in a display case later in the year when we found a bit more on the farm. Farm. Oh, forgot that one. That one was all the more modern spindables. Just shy of £10, £9.93 or something. Uh, most of that came from the the field where we did the ring recovery. A bit of coin shooting, which is good fun. Nothing's ever come from a beach. I've not done a beach. Never been on a beach with a detector. Uh, tell a lie. I spent about 10 minutes on a beach with a detector blowing a gale with no headphones. Could hardly hear it. Gave up very quick. Uh, but I wouldn't mind doing a beach. If anyone is a, a beach detectorist in the southeast, somewhere below Dorking Way, and uh, fancy some company, then let me know. More than happy to trundle down to the beach and have a day with you. Bit of fun. Learn something, something new. So let's see if we can have a better year. Better year for some silver, really. One milled George, let me show you that, didn't I? George the third. That was, I mean, a cracking coin. George the third, 1819. Half crown. Thought that was going to be a tin can, but a whopper of a coin. So I'm quite happy. But uh, on two hammers, one of them is, well, it's not worth going to the flow, it's hardly, can't hardly tell what it is. But that was also a Charles as well. So, good to meet some of you on some digs and hopefully meet a few more of you during the year. And I look forward to many more finds and hopefully some better finds. We always want better finds, don't we? It doesn't matter what you find, you want better finds. But uh, I'll see you all in the first hole tomorrow. Take care, everyone.